Hey guys, I'm here to talk to you about bone conduction headphones. If you don't know what bone conduction headphones are, they're headphones that play music for your cheekbones, which are located here and here. That way you can listen to the background sounds of your environment, as well as listen to the music that you love and enjoy. If you're running, cycling or hiking, you can, be, uh, you can listen to your own music and listen to the sounds outside. You can also uh, take incoming phone calls. It's got a built-in mic feature, which is, you know, it's, you know, this is a standard now with a lot of like Bluetooth uh, headsets now, which is great. Um, so we're going to look at the features back here. So let's have a look at that. See if you can see. So um, it's got the power button on here. It's got a it's got a frequency range of 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. It takes about 90 minutes to charge. Uh, 3.7 uh, volt, 120 amp uh, lithium battery. Uh, play back up to four hours of uh, battery life, depending on how pumped up you want to listen to your music. And the wireless range from your source is about 15 meters. So um, yeah, this is the packaging. It looks uh, pretty simple, pretty smart. Um, it's got everything you need to know right here. So at the back again, I'll show you there the um, instructions. So let's open this up. Bone conduction headphones. So um, here, here are the headphones. They, um, they look quite, quite nice, quite smart. Uh, they're pretty light. Um, again, it's got the essential info on the side. Um, see if you can take a close up look there. Basically, so I believe the built-in microphone, according to this, is on one of these sides over here. Okay, so we've got our port for uh, charging. It's a micro USB port. So there's the micro USB port there. Um, underneath, uh, it comes with, um... oh, look at that some ear earbuds uh, to drown out the external sounds. Um, for me, um, I'm good, I, I tried them with, without these um, because I quite like the fact that I can listen to other things outside. Um, so for me, I don't really need to use them, uh, but in case you wanna completely drown out the sounds, you can, so it comes up with that option. Uh, we've got a, wire, uh, a charging cable and a manual with a picture and diagrams, as you can see. So it's clearly labeled on the side here. So you put your, um, your on off, your volume up, your track changing. So um, yeah, on off play. Uh, a few more in-depth details of how this works. And again, like I mentioned earlier, it's got a spec of the playing time, charging time, uh, warranty, and a few little things about how not to use and use it, basically their advice. So, um, you know, obviously keep away from fire and water, uh, you know, the, the pretty obvious ones, but you know, sometimes people need to understand that you have to keep away from these things. So I'm gonna try with my computer. So I'm gonna turn it, turn it on. So you can hear inside power on. So I'm just gonna stick them here, like so, as you can see. Now I'm gonna use my uh, Bluetooth device and search for the device. Let's have a look. Bluetooth on, let's see. It's gonna take a few minutes. Still pairing. Okay, we're connected. Okay, so you hear a little beep when it connects. Oh, okay, so now we're connected and now I'm gonna press play. Mmm, purple haze. Okay, so I can still hear everything else outside. Um, I think my voice is still the same level. Um, I 
I'm gonna turn it up a little bit more. Of course, basically you can still drown yourself out in the sense of like uh, if the music is really loud then you you know you can't really hear too much outside of your environment. So um, in that sense, you know, it, it, it still works as it functions like a normal set of headphones. Uh, what I would say is that the sound is a little bit mono in comparison to like, you know, like a set of Zennheisers or other kind of like, you know, top of the range um, headphones that are available out there. Um, so, you know, the sound quality isn't as, as, as great as that, but the, the way the music kind of like enters, uh, it's, it's completely different, uh, I would say. Um, the types of headphones I'm used to, like I mentioned here, Zennheisers, um, you know, you get really cool crystal clear quality and it kind of, like you are completely absorbed with this, I still feel that I could hear uh, the wind outside. You can't really hear it now, but I could hear the. I still feel I could hear it. Um, but again, I do, if you want to turn it up too loud, uh, they start vibrating, which can get a little bit uncomfortable here. So um, the good thing is that I don't really want to turn them up that loud, uh, which is quite good for my hearing because normally I would turn them up really loud. With, you know, with other set of headphones. So again, that's quite a good thing. Um, yeah, so um, we'll have another listen. And now I will play, let's play something, let's play something, something different, something electronic. Let's see how, let's see how it handles, um, you know, electronic music. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, okay, so you can't really see it or you but it does kind of like I don't know, or you can't you can't really see it. But basically now um it really vibrates a lot, which is a little bit uncomfortable here, so I'm just gonna turn it down a little bit. Turn it down a little, a little bit, so just turn it down a bit. Okay, that's much more comfortable. Um Yeah, it feels it feels quite nice. Um, it doesn't feel like I'm I'm having to really blast blast it in. My overall uh, feeling about these headphones is that they're pretty good. Uh, I, I I would recommend them uh, for people who want to try something new and different. Like I mentioned before, the you know, they're not they're not designed to be studio quality sound, but they're definitely uh, allowing you to in, ingest the music in a different way, um, which I, I think is quite cool. I, I dig it. I really like it. Um, yeah, you know, they're, they're solid. They're not going to slip out. Um, you know, you can you can take phone calls. You can still I'm still talking in the same kind of level here. And overall, they're pretty damn good, really. Uh, I recommend them. So, yeah. Bone conduction headphones. This is the future. To conclude this review, um, I would say they're pretty, pretty good for what they are. Uh, I'm I've been pleasantly surprised, and for sure, you know, I, I will take them every time I go to the gym and um, enjoy them. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope this review has been helpful. Thanks.